Good morning. Thank you for joining us for our Morning Motivation, presented by the FBC Ministerial Staff. Welcome once again to our morning inspiration and motivational moment. My brothers and sisters, needless to say, 2020 has been a year like no other. Here we are at the halfway point of this year, and the events that have already taken place will surely resonate in our hearts and minds for a lifetime. These events which have taken place thus far has not only impacted our cities, our states, and our nations, but the current events have impacted this entire world. One reason why these events have been so impactful is because these events have been so life-changing. The pandemic is changing the way we live. This virus that we are dealing with have moved us toward a world that is becoming more and more virtual. The social injustice we face is changing the way we look. In light of all the protesting that has been taking place due to the social injustice, the question might become, when we look at one another, what do we really see? And maybe for others, the question just may be, what does all this really mean? Well, while we're trying to figure out the answer to these questions, and while we wrestle with things that are changing the way we live among each other and wrestle with the things that informs us on how we look at one another, let us also consider the way and how we love one another. Love, my brothers and sisters, is the changing agent that is oftentimes overlooked in times of trouble. However, God reminds us by way of his holy word, that when this world was in trouble some 2,000 years ago and needed a solution, he sent us a savior. We know this scripture, for God so loved the world that he gave what his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. My brothers and sisters, I believe if the world looked to Jesus, they would find out that his power to change the way we live among each other. If the world looked to Jesus, they would find out that he has the power to change the way we look at one another. And I truly believe that if the world looked to Jesus, they would find out that he has the power to change the way we love one another. So while we are searching near and far, for the solutions to our problems. Oftentimes, the answer to our problems is right before our very eyes. We must know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. For with Jesus, the world could live better because Jesus came that they might have life and that they may have life more abundantly. For with Jesus, the world could look better because Jesus is the light of the world. And with Jesus, the world could definitely love better because greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. So to you, have a blessed day. Thank you for joining us for another moment of inspiration. 
It is our prayer that you have been motivated, encouraged, and inspired by today's word. 